all right guys welcome back to another react tutorial in which i'll be starting off with a project in react because we have been doing all the concepts so far in react what is this what is that but the actual learning comes from when you start doing stuff right so in this video i'll be taking you through how you can set up a new react project make use of everything what we have learned so far like state routing you know we'll be using react ui libraries for easing out our html and css design and we'll be seeing finally how we can create a bundled version of our website and publish it online so this would be a little exciting mini series starting from this video so stick along if you want to create your own kind of personal site or personal portfolio using react and maybe just put it to github you can even showcase it on your resume whatever you like so yeah let's start with this video and in this one i'll just set up a new project so i'm just going to go ahead and if you remember from the earlier tutorial we used create react app but there's an update to create react app and now um create react app no longer actually needs you to have that thing installed right so what you have to do instead is now you can just directly go ahead and write npx create react app and uh, just name it whatever you want maybe like my profile right so this would be the name of your project and then you gotta specify a template to this right so i'm gonna go with typescript right so what what we are doing with npx right here is basically npx is not a typo it's it basically pulls this package right here from the internet and runs it against the arguments we supply right so it's basically doing what you would do if you had this package installed globally like this but since we don't have that installed globally i'm just going to do npx create react app the name of my project and the template is typescript right so typescript is pretty much similar to javascript so you shouldn't be actually facing a lot of problems if there were there would be any problems we'll be solving them you can just ask them in the comments otherwise i'll just keep you going through what's working with typescript and what's not we won't be you know very strict in typescript because we have to focus more on react but still yeah that's the way to go and i guess i just messed up a little because i don't want to use yarn so i'm just going to make use of npm right so let's just try this one more time but this time with npm i don't know i just like npm a bit more than yarn even though yarn looks all shiny and cool right so oops i guess we gotta remove the directory first and then let the npm do its job all right so once the create react app scripts run you should be able to go ahead and start vs code in your folder right and once you do that let me just bring in here and you should be able to see that you can finally go ahead and mess around with the source files right so yeah that's pretty much it for this video in the next one we're going to start off with the integration of react ui library and we're going to see how we can implement some material design in our react projects so that's all for this one if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one real quick